Why, hello everyone, and welcome to Ask a Raccoon. We're on the second or third... We're on a week of quarantine still here at the trash can, so I'm going to do a couple of more Ask a Raccoons today and release them slowly over the week. That way I give you something to watch while you're stuck inside doing nothing. What have I been doing? I've been doing a lot of stress eating. Please ignore my bucket of trash. I've also been gaining weight. I've also been restoring an old iMac. I hope to make a movie about it at some point, but it's a 1999 iMac G3, 400 megahertz. You gotta watch it. We got so used to saying gigahertz, but it's megahertz. Why does it hurt though? That's so sad. Anyway, it's time to ask a raccoon. I got a really good letter this week from Hogo Cat. Hello. Hi, Hogo. I'm a boy who live in Madrid and have 13 to 14 years old. And I wanted to ask you how to make friends in the furry fandom. I have friends who support my hobby, but anyone is in the fandom, so it's difficult to talk about my hobby. Thank you, Hogo. Hogo, thank you for the question. It can be difficult to make friends, especially with people who don't understand what it is that you see in furry fandom. But Hogo, being a furry is just like being a fan of football. Some people like some one team, other people like another team. It's just like being a fan of movies. Some people like action movies, some people like sports movies. Being a furry means making friends with people with similar interests. So, you have friends that support you, but you need to find friends who are like you. And at your age group, it's a little hard. It can be really difficult finding someone that understands what it is you see inside of cartoons. So, I'm going to assume that you liked the movie Zootopia. Online, somewhere, there's a group of people just like you. And in fact, I would urge you to watch this with your parents. And if they need any translation help, I'm assuming you can do that for me. Hi, Mama. Hi, Papa. Como estas? Again, Hogo, it's just finding people with similar interests and talking to them online. That's how I met some people at first, was by talking with them online on the internet. But I was also very, very young at the time, so I was also very mindful not to agree to meet anyone. I just found people with a similar interest to me in Sonic the Hedgehog, or to me in Lion King. It's really nice, Hogo, that you've involved your other friends in the furry fandom. That's a great starting place, I would think, because you might find other people that you already know and associate with that you can talk about things with. Like, you can talk about the plot for Zootopia, or you can talk about the art style that's in Disney's The Lion King. Um, so that's a great starting point. Another good starting point would be, I'm sure somewhere in Madrid, you have a local convention that's not just a furry convention. Maybe it's science fiction convention or a comic book convention. Guess what? Furries go to those as well. That's also a great moment to involve your family, to involve your, your, your mom and pop. So I would bring them along too and say, look, this is what I'm interested in. Maybe they can help you become a great furry by involving our parents in our hobbies. And that's what this is, Hogo. It's still a hobby, like you said. It's nice to know that the fandom is still very alive and well, especially with the young generation. You know me, I'm almost in my 40s now. I'm so old. I'm old! Actually... Today's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. I eat lots of trash and smell like cat pee. You don't usually know where the rhyme's going until it's too late. Hogo, gracias for the question. I look forward to going through your trash later. Thank you everyone who subscribes to my channel and finds my antics entertaining. Uh, especially you, Hogo. I really thank you for writing me all the way from Madrid, Spain. That's my, uh, fir I think my first international uh, email. So, gracias. i uh, give you a heart. Heart. Click subscribe before you leave the channel today. 
Don't forget to hit the notification bell on the way out. And don't forget to keep sharing my channel with everyone. If you enjoy this, you enjoy the content I'm bringing you, I do urge you, please share the, the love. And thank you again so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you again a couple of times this week coming up. Until next time, bye. <laughs>